we're going to begin by looking at just some really simple arithmetic and math type things. And then I'll show you a couple more advanced algebra type things. So if we start in MathCast, which is where we want to start, we're going to go to New Equation List. This is kind of where you start working on your equations. From the top menu above, um, from that ribbon, we're just going to go over to Equation and choose the first option, Add Equation. Once you do that, what you'll see at the bottom is you kind of have a blinking cursor. And although there is kind of a task bar at the bottom, we're not really going to use that. So the first example we're going to start with is just a simple arithmetic problem like 5 plus negative 7 equals negative 2. So for something real basic like that, I can just start typing 5 plus. Now, negative signs can sometimes be tricky. So if you're not sure about that, you can always go up to the math menu. Choose the first menu, Arithmetic, and from that you get a whole bunch of drop-down menus that sees where you'll see things that we're used to seeing in arithmetic type problems. I'm just going to go down to where it says negative and choose that. Put in my 7, then just finish typing, equals. I'm going to use that negative sign again, so I'm going to go to the Arithmetic menu and choose the negative. And then 2. Once I have this typed in, I'm just going to hit Enter. And what you should see is that should now pop up in the top part of the screen visually as you would expect to see it in text or in a math book. So we've got 5 plus negative 7 equals negative 2. So once you've got that done, you've got two options. You can either do Control C for copy, or we can go over to the Edit menu and choose Copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my simple HTML editor. I've just opened up this program. I've got a new blank palette to work with. And all I'm going to do here is I'm either, I can either do Control V for paste or I can right click and choose paste. And so when you do that, what you see is you see what looks like computer code come up uh, with what might look like a lot of jargon, but that is your expression that we just typed in MathCast. So the last step is we just hit save. And it's going to bring up a typical dialog. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to name it. I'm going to name this um, I'm going to name it Basic Math. And you'll see it defaults to an HTML page already. And I hit Save. So where I've saved that to is just a, a folder on my desktop. So I already have that pulled up. But if I go to that folder, I could go there and get on the desktop. But I've already got it open. You should see there it is, and if I click on it, it should open up in your default browser, whatever that is. Mine is Mozilla Firefox, and you should see that visual representation 5 plus negative 7 equals negative 2. And so that is, um, and what we have here is we've created a web page that has one equation on it using MathML, and that equation is 5 plus negative 7 equals negative 2. So I can try other things. If I go back to MathCast, you can see it kind of saves all these equations, which we'll look at later. But if I just want to do another equation, same thing, just go to Equation, choose Option 1, Add Equation. Now I'm ready to go. So let's say I wanted to do a fraction. If it's just a basic, simple fraction, like 1 half, 1 fourth, 2 thirds, it's fairly simple. I just type. So if I want to do a fraction 1 half, I do 1. I use the slash on my keyboard, and then 2. Hit Enter. And now visually, again, you see I've got one half. Same thing here, once this is highlighted, I can copy it, go to my simple equation editor. I have two options here. I can either just close this out, and it's going to ask me, are you sure? And I'm going to say, OK. And then I can paste this new code in. And it should look different, because this is a different equation. Or actually, it's an expression. Same thing, I'm going to hit Save. Um, this time I might name it fraction. I 
once again, if I go to my file that I've created where I've saved this and I double click on fraction, again, what I've done is I've created a web page that's got one mathematical expression in it in MathML, and that's one half. If I want to do something with variables and parentheses, so something that looks more algebra-ish, you can do x, open parentheses, y plus 4, close parentheses, hit enter. Make sure it looks the way I want visually, and then same steps. I'm going to go here to my HTML editor. I'm going to paste that code in, hit save. I'll name this one Algebra. And if I want to test it to make sure it looks the way I wanted it to, I go to my folder and open it up. And that's not what I wanted, so let's go back and see what happened. So what happened here is it didn't copy my code, so I'm going to go back to MathCast, just make sure this is highlighted. I'm going to hit copy. And we'll try this again. Oh, now it's got what I want. Okay. So I'm just going to save that because it just didn't copy and paste it correctly. Now when I open it, it does look correct. We've got x, open paren, y plus 4, close paren. And just to show you something real that, um, that we go, come across quite a bit that does have some more advanced stuff in it, let's say I wanted to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If it's a real basic power or square, then I can just type A. I can use the caret key, which is your shift and this number six, and then type a two plus B caret two equals C caret two. And when I hit enter, you see that's exactly what I don't want it to look like. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I'm gonna copy that over to my HTML editor. I'm going to get a new document and paste it. You can see just by the nature of this equation, this is much more complex in code. Uh, I wouldn't get too hung up on the code at this time. We're just trying to make sure we understand the process for creating these. When it's save, I'll call this one. Yes. And once again, if I just want to check this now, and there's my web page with that one mathematical equation on it.